There have been nearly 300 attacks on Catholic churches in the U.S. in less than three years. A Catholic nonprofit started tracking the attacks after George Floyd's death in May of 2020 and found in most cases the motive behind the attacks wasn't material gain. Many say it's disrespect toward religion. I think there's a, a real anti-religion attitude out there. Monsignor David Casado was the pastor at St. Athanasius Church in Bensonhurst in May of 2021 when the church's crucifix was smashed and their American flag burned. That morning when I woke up and saw the crucifix on the floor with the face of Jesus in the in the dirt, I, it was just horrific. According to the nonprofit Catholic Vote, that horrific attack is just one of nearly 280 attacks on Catholic churches in the U.S. since May of 2020. And it's one of about a dozen in the Diocese of Brooklyn during that time. Like in July of 2021, when two statues at Our Lady of Mercy in Forest Hills were destroyed. Or in October of 2022 at St. Mary's Nativity St. Anne Parish in Flushing, when a man was caught on camera defacing a statue of Mary and driving over the church's sign. And no one can forget May of last year when thieves stole the extremely valuable sacred tabernacle at St. Augustine Church in Park Slope and left consecrated Eucharist scattered all over the floor. But according to Catholic Vote, most cases involve destroying church property, not theft. And there's a lot of disrespect, a lot of disrespect for for the church, for the clergy, et cetera. And since the leak of the draft opinion overturning Roe v. Wade in May of last year, there's been a spate of attacks on churches, some 120 incidents, including vandalism at Guardian Angel Church in Brighton Beach. Phrases such as pro-choice and separation between church and state were scrawled in chalk on the exterior of the church. Father Sergi Emanuel says he's not sure why his church was targeted, but says... We need to pray, you know, we need to pray for another people uh, who do this. Catholic Vote has found that only about 25 percent of the cases across the country have had an arrest made in connection to the attack. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.